Hello everyone, this is Sayori from the Sayori channel, here just to give you a quick tutorial on how to install mods for Batman Arkham Knight using TFC Installer. Now, you can install quite a few different mods with TFC Installer. Uh, the one that we have here is a Bat Signal mod, um, not unlike one that I released just the other day. Uh, but there are also mods I know. I have one that replaces the Skybox, one that replaces Lucius Fox's model, and uh, I've seen quite a few that replace the Gadget models as well. Uh, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to install a Bat Signal mod, but know that all of those types of mods do install the same uh, using TFC. Now, it's pretty easy to install mods with TFC. Um, First thing you're going to want to do is, of course, get TFC Installer. Now, TFC Installer isn't a mod that's actually on the Arkham Knight on the Arkham Knight page. You'll see if you search TFC, these are a bunch of mods that require TFC to install. Um, the actual TFC Installer is on a different game because it's just a universal program that works with Unreal Engine games. So, if you were to click on a TFC mod. Uh, this is the one that we're going to be downloading today. Uh, most of them will have, as a requirement, TFC Installer. If it doesn't, I recommend just clicking on a different one quickly just to open up the TFC Installer tab like we're doing now. And you'll see it's actually just under Modding Tools. It's not on an actual game. So this is TFC Installer. Uh, as you see, all it requires is Net Runtime 6. Uh, a lot of you will probably already have that if you don't have it. Just clicking on that allows you to download it. Um, that is an official Windows program, so you don't have to worry about any viruses or anything. Um, all you got to do is hit install. And it looks like there was an update since I last downloaded TFC Installer, so I'm going to be downloading it here too. Now, it is pretty important when installing TFC mods to make sure that you do have the newest version of TFC Installer. Because I know in the past, I've tried to download some mods with TFC, and I found that it wasn't working. And the issue ended up being that I, and the issue ended up being that I had an old version of TFC. All right, so here we got the new version of TFC installer. All we're going to want to do is find a spot to put that. It can be anywhere. It doesn't have to be in your game folder. Uh, I have a folder here for different modding programs. Uh, so I'm going to just make a new. TFC folder. Again, this it doesn't matter where you put this, it can be anywhere. And we're just going to drop that in there. Okay. Oh, where is... There we go. Next, we're going to want to open TFC, of course. You'll get this Windows protected. It's fine. You can run it. It's safe. And here we go. This is the TFC menu. Uh, here it asks for a game folder and a mod folder. So before we install a mod, we of course need to have the mod on our computer. So for that, we're just going to go back here. And we're going to be installing this bat signal mod. Again, all of them will work the same. All we have to do, hit install. And then we got that. All right. Now all we got to do is extract this somewhere. The exact location doesn't really matter too much, I don't think. I always put it in my game folder, but I don't put it right in my game folder. I think it tell I think uh, TFC tells you that you should just put it in your game folder. Um, I I have a different folder for it inside my game folder under mods and TFC mods. Here we go. All we got to do extract that. Uh, for me, it's telling me that I'm replacing files because obviously I already have this mod. And there we go. Here's our mod. Uh, as you can see, I have several more. Once we have, all right. Once we have our mod in the file, all we got to do is select our game folder. So, your game folder will be right here. It will be under this PC, wherever you have Steam, wherever you have the game installed. Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Batman Arkham Knight. We're going to just select Batman Arkham Knight, and that is our game folder. Then our mod folder, we want to go and find the mod that we've just extracted. Mine is under Mods, TFC Mods. 
2022 bat signal. All right. And then we'll get this page here. All we have to do, hit update Arkham Knight and DLCs. This is going to be running through every file throughout the game and all of the DLCs, checking for which files it needs to replace. Um, the first one will take a little bit because it's scanning through the entire game, but after that, it should just go through it pretty quick one by one. Uh, and when that's done, your mod should be installed. Okay, so our mod has just finished installing. You can see at the bottom, it gives us the option to restore backup and to uninstall the mods. Uh, obviously, we don't need to do that because we want these mods, so we can just close TFC installer, uh, minimize this, close this, and then all we got to do is open our game. Okay, and as we can see here, the mod installation was successful. We have the 2022 you know bat signal in our game, and it was very danger. easy. TFC is very easy to use, um, especially the newer versions of it, I feel like. Uh, I remember finding TFC a bit daunting to use at first. I remember not installing mods with TFC just because I was worried about messing things up. Uh, it is very, very easy to use. And there's a lot of great mods out there that do use it. Um, so yeah, that's that's really about it. I hope that this tutorial was helpful. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next one.